Hi guys, uh, this is Khan and uh, today in C++ tutorial for beginners uh, lesson number 6 or part 6 we are going to cover uh, iteration or loops this is uh, today's topic and we will cover 4 while and do while loops in the previous video lesson number six, 5 we have covered selection decision making structures and in that one we covered if statement, if else statement and stage statement if you want to watch that video, the dis link is in description. So let's start. First of all, iteration of the loop. Normally, statements are executed sequentially, like one after the other in a sequence. In some situations, we need to execute a block of statements several number of times. Here comes the loop. Loops allow us to execute a statement or a group of statements several number of times basically what we have to do we have to repeat statements or group of statements several number of times means more than once a group or block is made by enclosing statements in braces so again why do we use braces you will see that braces are curly braces or the curly brackets we use to make a block or the group of statements and there are three types of loops in C++ for while and new while. We'll have a look to each one by one. But first, we start with the for loop. So for loop is called the definite loop. Why do we call it definite loop? You can uh, read the description here. But main thing that it has initialization, condition check, and increment, decrement, all these three in one loop. And it is also called pre-test loop means the test is checked before the execution of the code again okay. so let's start with the practice so we'll see that how can we implement this one here so first of all this is a uh, basic uh, what we call boilerplate so first of all hash io include string io string again okay. using namespace study then integer main then we have got a variable called num and then we have got c out and uh, enter any number i will use a number any number and uh, then we will start the for loop in for loop we have got three things first of all a variable uh, uh, we can declare the variable here as well if you want you can declare here like we can do x here and then we don't need to declare x here okay x is equal to one x is less than or is equal to the condition we have done before x is less than or is equal to 10 it, this is a condition check and the third part is increment or decrement we are going to do x plus plus in the operators we have covered this x plus plus as well okay then a block starts and uh, in the block whatever the statement would be there we will print out for example i'm going to print it out uh, for uh, like um, slash n and then uh x we don't need these statements so i'm going to comment out these so what will uh, it will happen it will uh, start x is equal to one means it will start with one then it will increment one value on each iteration every time it iterate or it will loop or it will execute it will go back and increment or plus one in x value uh, until it gets up to 10 okay so as it as it reaches x is less than or equal to 10 it executes as it reaches 10 or 11 it will stop so let's see the output of this one i'm going to press f11 and let's see the result see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it is basically this loop executed 10 times so i hope you are clear with the loop now so let's do some more things with the loop uh, what i'm going to do if you have uh, seen a table it's like um, table of five it is five multiply by one is equal to five and so on five twos are ten and five three threes are fifteen something like this so we are going to do the same we need an input so i'm going to uh, delete the commenting thing and then see out enter any number we'll take input in num value num variable 
and then we'll print out this thing or this table okay so first of all i want num then i want the x sign here then obviously the variable x the name of the variable is x and then we need um, is equal to i think i should create it here is equal to and then x multiply by num num multiply by x okay and we need next line every time okay so this will print us the table so let's run it again f11 and then uh, let me enter i want the table of eight so enter and then you can see here it is your table okay so the line each line is repeated and until it gets 10 miss this loop starts with one with the increment of one each time it will execute 10 times so we know how many times it will execute that's why it is called the definite loop number one definite loop and the second thing it is also called the pre-test loop pre-test loop because it is testing value here okay we'll see that what are the uh, post test loops as well but let me first clear this one so this line this only one line is repeated 10 times and what it will print as you can see it is going to print our table so num variable we took like enter in a number 8 num is there so num is printed here 8 then we just print here x and then the variable 1 to 10 we print here then is equal to sign here and then num into x num is 8 multiply by each time 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it will be multiplied and the your table will be printed here and every time it will print on next line because and l is there or and line is there hope it's clear if uh, you have got any question then you can ask uh, let me clear uh, one more thing that in this one we separate initialization this is our initialization first first part this one is here and as you can see this is our initialization x is equal to one initial value and then the after semicolon we put condition or testing here it is x is less than equal to 10 and then in the last increment or decrement uh, we'll have some examples with the decrement as well for the, for the beginning we have got x plus plus means only the increment okay hope it's clear let's move to the next loop and this is while loop while loop is also again a pre-test loop again it will uh, test the value first okay and then it will execute but what is the difference between this one or the for loop so the main thing that it only has a condition nothing else you have to increment or initialize value yourself and it is also called the indefinite loop because we don't know how many times it will be executed let's see the example and i am going to change uh, this loop the same loop to uh, while loop okay so let me replace the line while and in this one we can use the same thing same so that you will have some idea that uh, how it will work but here you, as you can see only condition is there in while loop we have got only condition so what about the initialization and uh, the next thing increment so what we have to do we have to do it manually like x is equal to 1 it is before the loop we have to mention before the loop and in the loop we can use the same thing x plus plus so basically we have changed four loop into this one and as you can see these two lines one this line and one this line these are the extra line we have to do it because while loop only checks a condition so that is why it is called indefinite loop you don't know how many times it's going to execute in this one obviously it is not the part of the loop so we can't say from this line that how many times it will be executed so let's run it again and let's see what is the result same loop same everything uh, this time I'm uh, printing the table of 9. Let's see what happens. The same table of 9 is there. 9 was a 9, 9 is a 18. Okay. So, if you know the table, so it will be easier for you because uh, uh, for the math calculation, it is very helpful. Okay. So, as you can see, the while loop did the same thing, but the difference is here that we have to increment ourselves and we have to initialize the value ourselves before the loop. 
hope it's clear now let's move to the third one and we have got the third one is a do while loop okay mm, first uh, do while loop is um, let me check this one this one it is similar to the while loop but there is a slight difference one difference and it mm, changes everything here and that's why we use this one so basically what we do do statement starts the loop there's a chord in the body so the chord is executed and then there is a condition so basically the condition comes after the body of the code again okay? so what is the difference so first thing is post test loop means the test or the condition is not checked at the, the beginning of the loop but at the end of the loop and the second thing that uh, the difference between the while and do while is um, one more important thing but let me first run it I will show you and then I will show you what is the main difference again okay. this is also uh, indefinite loop let me just uh, comment it out here and we will start with the same line let me write it here do we start with do that's it so basically our, our loop is started okay? but what we are going to do we will check the value here at the end in while loop we first check the value here but in uh, new while loop we do the same but at the ends so that is the difference what it makes the difference what is the difference between this one and that one uh, let me first execute and show you uh, and then I will show you that what is the difference. Let me put this semicolon here. F11. This time I am going to uh, print the easiest one. The table of 10. 10 ones are 10, 10 to the 20. I think everyone knows this table. So this is a table here. Okay. Everything is um, same in this table printing. But we know that we have applied for loop while loop and do while loop again okay. so let me just uh, show you what is the difference between these three now in do while loop and the while loop that is the main difference that do while loop is executed at least once executed at least once no other loop uh, does the same but do while loop for example if i even if i say mm, something like false it will be executed at least once. So let's run it and see. 10 and then one line it is printed. See, one line is printed. Miss this, it says that okay, the condition is false, so to stop it. If I do the same with this one, it will not be executed even once. But as we have seen, that uh, do while loop, it, it is executed at least once. So, hope the difference is clear between all these three. If you have got any other mm, query, you can ask me uh, from the uh, comment section. And one more thing that I, I, should, I think I should clear, and this one that <coughs> uh, that's the difference. Okay, let's have a summary. And uh, after completing this one, what I'm going to do, I will make uh, five to ten programs so that uh, whatever we have learned will practice the same thing. Okay. But this part is important, so I'm going to cover in this one. So for loop is basically, we can say that uh, it is called definite repetition loop. Okay. Uh, while loop is indefinite. And loop while loop is also indefinite. So that is uh, one of the main difference. It means that we know how many times for loop is executed. As we can see that we initialize and we increment the values. But here we are not exactly sure how many times it will be executed. Now, the second one that um, um, is the difference between these three, it is called counter control loop. Counter control loop means basically we are incrementing or decrementing within the loop. Okay? And uh, in this one, we don't need a counter. Okay? So we don't have the uh, counters here in while or do while. So this is also why for loop is called uh, counter control loop. The third one is that if it has three parts, first of all initialization, second is condition testing and third one is increment or decrement. Okay, So we have seen these examples. But in this one, 
we had we don't have anything except uh, condition testing okay here and here and both the while and the while loop only we have condition testing and the third uh, and the last uh, uh, the difference is there it is pre-test loop it means that it uh, checks the value first condition is checked in the beginning same with while loop but not with do while loop do while loop is post test loop means that first the lines or the block or the group of statements are executed and then uh, the condition is checked it means one more thing that that is very important that do while loop is executed at least once that is the main difference between while and other loops do while and other loops again okay? hope everything is clear uh, in the next practice you will cover the job statements don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, click on the bell icon so that you will get the notification for the next video thank you very much for watching uh, see you in next video